Welcome back. In this lesson, I'll walk you through customizing the 3D Studio Max user interface, as well as setting up our custom keyboard shortcuts. Uh, if there's anything I like more than, than hot wings is hot keys. Some people don't use them, others swear by them. I'm one of those folks that uses them heavily in my modeling. It just saves me mouse clicks and time. Uh, I have a cheat sheet that I'll be including here, and it has my most use, my most frequently used hotkeys for when I'm modeling. These are, are mostly arbitrary. I know some people can set up the keyboard buttons that you use based on what's closer to your finger or however you want to do it. Uh, these are just easier for me to remember and to work with, and so that's what I have. This is not a set in stone rule, so whatever is more, more comfortable for you or whatever you work best with. And I'll be including this graphic in the lesson as well. All right, first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and I prefer to work with the light user interface for 3D Studio Max. So I'll just go to Customize, Load Custom UI Scheme, AME Light. And I'll just go to Customize. Let's go ahead and OK that. It's just telling us all the full effects will take effect next time we restart the program. I'll just go to Customize next and then Preferences. Make sure my Gamma and LUT tab, Gamma and look, correction is enabled. Gamma is at 2.2, and that's for later on if we're doing any, any rendering or material stuff. Then I'll go to rendering, render setup, and where it says assign renderer, I'll just go ahead and make sure it's set to mental ray. And I already have that set up, so we can we can work with that. And this is for rendering in my materials or anything like that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up the keyboard commands. And I won't go through every single one. I'll show you mostly where they're found, and then you know you can go through and do that on your own if you so desire. But to demonstrate the one of the more important ones, I'll go ahead and set up a box here. And the keyboard shortcut we're going to set up first is the show end result toggle. And I'll show you how that works. Say we have a box there, and I apply a turbo smooth modifier to that. It's showing me what it's showing me what the turbo smooth's doing. And so if I go back to my box. I can always push the button here and I see what happens. If I go up to my Turbo Smooth, increase my iterations, go back to the box, I can toggle between. Now, in the middle of working, you know, it could be kind of a hassle to, to hop over here and then try to jump between the two. And so what we'll do for this is we'll go ahead and set up a, a hotkey. So we'll go to Customize, Customize User Interface. And on Keyboard, where it says Main UI, All Commands, I'm currently going to set the tilde key for show end result. And so we'll go in here and we'll just grab this entry here. And for hot key, I'll just put tilde and I'll say assign. And there's a bug in 3D Studio Max where sometimes this doesn't work right away until you, you restart the program. However, it's working for us. And so now, I'm just hitting tilde and we can be jumping between the modifier and our base object. I can go ahead and just add an edit poly on here. And if I were to go in and get my swift loop tool, I could actually be switching between the two while I make modifications to the object. And so that's just really, really handy and saves a bunch of time. Uh, we'll go back to Customize again, Customize User Interface. And what we're going to do now is we'll customize our hotkeys for the Edit Poly modifier. And I'm on Keyboard, in Group, I go to Edit Poly. And then, based on my cheat sheet, let's say we wanted to do Connect. And I have that set to A, so we'll just go in here. And if, if you select anything in here and type the first few letters of the group you're trying to change, it usually lands you on that group. So for Connect, We'll go A, I'll say Assign, and again, we can come out here and test it. And there you go, selected those edges and connected them. And so you'd go through and repeat the process for everything that's listed here. Again, my most frequently used are the Show End Result, Connect, Bridge, Target, Weld, and Cut. And 
like I mentioned earlier, I'll be including this so you can you can have this to play around with. Alrighty, that concludes customizing 3D Studio Max. Uh, one other thing, just in case, and this is probably known to a lot of power users, but once you've gone through and set everything up, you can actually go in here and click Save and choose somewhere to save it, and you can save all your keyboard commands. The other thing to, to be mindful of as well is there is the Edit Poly, and there's also Editable Poly, and I'll show you, I'll collapse everything here, and I'll show you the, the difference between the two. So there's Editable Poly, that's your base object, and now you can add an Edit Poly modifier to that. And you just need to be mindful of this when you're working, and because the, the hotkeys you set for Edit Poly won't transfer over to Editable Poly. You would have to go through if you wanted them for both and set them up in here as well. So that's just that's just something to be mindful of. One other thing I'd like to mention as well, actually, is we'll be using the Edit Poly modifier a lot as well as the Turbo Smooth modifier just to kind of preview what's going on with our model as we work. And so a, a quick and easy way to do that instead of having to go through the modifier list each time is to just set a button in 3D Studio Max to assign said modifiers. And you can do this for any modifier you, you'd like. And so what I'm going to do is go to Max Script and I'm going to open the Max Script Listener. And then with the Listener open, I'll select my box and I'll go through and add Turbo Smooth modifier. And then what I want to do is just select this line here. And you can just drag and drop it on your, your tab here. And now if you push this button, you'll apply a Turbo Smooth. Uh, we want to do the same thing for Edit Poly as well. And so we just grab that and pop it up here and just click to test. And so what you can do once you've got these set up is you can go to Customize. I'm sorry, you can go to Edit Button Appearance. And then you can surf through here and find any sort of icon that you want to use for these. And just assign them some sort of an icon that you'd remember. So during the, during the lesson, you'll see me going up here and pushing on two buttons. And it'll be my Edit Poly and my Turbo Smooth Quick Buttons. Uh, that's it for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next. Thank you.